All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful. It is a Friday evening here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, I believe. Friday, June 14th, and uh, <laughs> I have one of my three tiny owls is booked on this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous weekend. One out of three tiny houses. So I uh, won't get into that rant. So uh, <clears throat> being Friday, I really want to do my first ain't gonna happen rant tonight, which, you know, goes on for <clears throat> 30 or 40 minutes. So I'm going to test if I can make it through a short, just little story, mainly to test my voice more than anything i might give it a go if i have a coughing fit i'm not going to attempt the ain't gonna happen rant for obvious reasons so anyway <clears throat> just wanted to uh i've been reading a the latest uh missive from my uh my 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 good buddy who shall <laughs> remain nameless uh MC, uh, MC and I, uh, you know, we agree on 99% of things, but obviously for any, the few of you following our little debate uh, where we veer off in radical directions is over this corona panic issue. Uh, we've just agreed to disagree so he has yet another dead horse beating uh, article uh, on corona panic today you know basically stating that he does not does not go to restaurants bars sporting events he wears his mask indoors and all of this he lives on the on the west coast he is a full-scale doomer uh just completely wrapped up in the uh in, in the corona panic uh narrative so uh I, I, anyway i know he doesn't like me uh commenting on his corona panic stories but i just <clears throat> basically shared the story of what happened to me at the ithaca clinic on uh on monday four days ago you know the the ithaca new york free clinic if, if i had to name ground zero ground zero on this planet corona pussy ground zero the little lefty uh corona panic uh fear-mongering flagship institution on planet earth would be the ithaca free clinic uh good lord makes my my buddy mc sound like uh i don't i don't know uh russell brand or uh you know talking about the subject so anyway you know when i went there last year in in the summer of 2023 they you know they were still pretty much in uh, corona panic uh, lockdown at the free clinic so uh, I, I figured nothing had changed this year so I, I actually found my mask which I've had for four years I wish I it's in the car unfortunately I would show it to you again you know it's this black mask with uh, a flag draped sheep on it and what does it say something about the sheeple <clears throat> uh, you know across the mask under the uh, flag draped sheep and 
So I had my mask with me, and so now it is June of 2024. <clears throat> so I pull up to the clinic, and on the clinic door, there is a big red stop sign. Big red stop sign saying, no entry allowed. No entry allowed without a properly fitted face mask. And then some comment about getting vaccinated. Let, let's beat this. I think the slogan under no entry, uh, no entry, you know, without the properly fitted mask was, I think it was let's beat this one vaccination at a time. So this is this big sign on the front of the door. And so I was a little bit unsure how to properly fit my flag-draped sheeple mask over my face. But uh, I did the best I could. I open the door and I walk in to the clinic. And what do you think I see? T t take a wild guess. What I see, the, the first thing I see are these three women, uh, kind of receptionist secretary types. I don't know what the, the, these three women are sitting around gabbing, uh, no glass partition between the, the lobby and them, uh, not one of them wearing a mask. Not one, not one of the three women working there, at, you know, greeting the new sick people coming in off, uh, off the thing. So I still had my mask on while the three of them didn't. And so they told me, to, you know, to go take a seat in the lobby. So I go in, you know, I step into the patient's lobby. Not one person in the lobby is wearing a mask. And they still have, don't sit here. You know, every other chair has a don't sit here social distancing. So you, you had to sit two chairs down without a mask. Uh, so, so I'm looking around and I kind of laugh. And so I, I took my mask off, put it in my pocket uh, and immediately went into a coughing fit. Remember a couple of years ago, whenever you coughed, uh, it was like yelling fire in a crowded theater. It was like, a, you know, like you just shot a gun out in public if you coughed. So I'm sitting in the fucking clinic with no mask on, having a coughing fit. Nobody's looking at me. Nobody's concerned about anything. So I'm there about 50 minutes. So the nurse calls me into the office. <clears throat> So the nurse obviously is not wearing a mask. So she sets me down. She starts doing all my vitals, you know, uh, weighing me, blood pressure, temperature. Everything is fine. Uh, no fever. No, uh, it, 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 all of my vitals are completely fine. You know, talking about what's the matter with me. And I'm telling her this is the single worst cough I have ever had in my entire life. And she said, well, what other symptom? I said, not one other symptom. This is the worst fucking cough I have ever had, hands down, in my entire life. I was about two weeks into it. And uh, so, you know, we're, we're trying to figure it all out. And, and I just said, well, I assume you're going to give me a COVID test. And she looks at me like, you know, like I had just suggested, I, I don't know, getting getting a, 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 a fucking test for clap or, or, or something. And she looks at me and she's genuinely uh, surprised. And she goes, why? She goes, what makes you think you might have COVID? And, and, and so when she said that, I kind of laughed. And I went into this absolute coughing, hacking uh, fit right in front of this woman uh, where I couldn't talk for, for like 90 seconds. 
and I finally found my voice and I said, I don't know why. I just thought you might want to. She goes, I said, she, she gives me the little COVID test. Uh, and, and it was obvious uh, three minutes into it uh, that, that I did not have uh, COVID. And compared to, you know, when I did have COVID last fall, I, I assure you, wh whatever the hell it is I'm dealing with now uh, is, is about, I would take 300 cases of Corona Panic uh, over this shit. So she rules out Corona Panic uh, and says, well, go in there to see the doctor. So she sends me down the hall to the to the doctor really nice guy i walk in and obviously the doctor is not wearing a mask uh the, the doctor at the ithaca not one human being in that building is, is is wearing a mask you know six months ago every single person in there uh w w would have been masked up and uh, so he kind of repeats the whole thing uh, that, that I just went through with the goddamn nurse. He never mentioned the word COVID. Never came out of his mouth. Never mentioned. Uh, I went right along with his poking and probing and, and uh, inducing coughing and all of this. And, I mean, we were there a long time Um uh, I mean, he did this thorough exam and this long discussion with me. Really nice, professional guy. And then he, uh, so he prescribes me whatever the antibiotic with the letter Z in it. He gives me that, uh, a steroid. He gives me prednisone and this cough medicine, which normally I notice cost sixty three dollars for this little bottle of cough medicine sends me out the door the total price the total price for the visit to the uh, clinic doctor visit all prescriptions everything zero 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 a you know totally completely free totally free uh, and it it would have been more expensive if I had Medicare. So I uh, I put twenty dollars in the tip jar, and of course n n none of the drugs are working. It's been a total failure, and I'm going back on Monday for my second consultation, uh, w which is completely free and. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, guys. I might take one more round of medicine, uh, but 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 anyway, that was that that was Hambone's trip to the doctor at the uh, Corona Panic Ground Zero of the planet, the little lefty Ithaca Free Clinic, and uh, there you go. Uh, you can see how concerned, I guess, Ithaca, New York. I noticed at Wegmans uh, Supermarket in Ithaca, New York now, I'm thrilled to see that, like, nobody, I won't say nobody is wearing a mask, but nobody who works at Wegmans. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, they had the cloth mask, and in front of the cloth mask, they had the plexiglass mask, uh, the employees at Wegmans. Uh, none of the employees at Wegmans, Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, uh, going right on about their business. I am glad to see the restaurants and the bars and the music. Well, I haven't been to a fucking music venue uh, in Ithaca, New York, uh, are uh, going on about their lives. Uh, as more and more people understand, Hambone was right uh, from day one uh, that this is one more wolf uh, outside of the cave door. Uh, 
I don't see people taking all of these precautions from getting pneumonia. The guy was telling me that this pneumonia is not viral because it is not contagious to other people. It's bacterial. And uh, so he said that I have no concern about that. I cannot give it to uh, other people. He seemed 100% uh, sure of that. So I asked him where I got it. And he said he didn't know. And he goes, that's one of the mysteries is where does bacterial pneumonia come from? Uh, he just thinks, you know, I told him about it. He just thinks I've worked myself in, in just a complete exhaustion. And he goes, he goes, dude, this is your body telling you to take a fucking break. And I said, well, you come down and mow my yard and uh, I will take a break. But anyway, it looks like I have made it 16 minutes without a coughing fit. So uh, I'm going to take a few minutes break and maybe come back with my ain't going to happen roundup rant. And, of course, Sandy's show is getting ready to come on in 10 minutes. Oh, boy. All right. A new record. 16 minutes without a cough. Wish me luck. Bye, guys.